you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Analytics Cloud Service for Network Intelligence and Service Assurance. The videos in this series will describe the various views, services, and capabilities of the Ruckus Analytics platform. In this video, I'll describe the data presented in the Client Details Report dashboard. So let's get started. Here I am logged into Ruckus Analytics. The first thing to know about the Client Details Report is that it can be accessed two different ways. One method is more direct and the other is more functional. The direct method is used by navigating to and expanding Report on the left side pane. Then click on the Client Details link. This will open the Client Details page. Once on this page, you'll be required to enter a client MAC address. The MAC address must be entered hexadecimally with colons between each byte as shown here. There's no other formats that will be accepted. Once a valid MAC address is entered, you'll be taken to the client details report for that device. The more common method to access a client's details will more likely be from either an analytics view or from another report. Because let's face it, you typically will only access this report if there's a legitimate reason derived from analytics or something you've seen in another report. So let's navigate to the client's report. I'll go ahead and select a larger time range with the filter at the top of the page. So pretty much anywhere in this report where you see a client name or MAC address, you can click on it to take you to the client details report for that client. So from the top 10 unique clients by traffic tile up here, I'll select one of the clients in the graph. After all of that, we're here at the client details report. This report, as its name implies, provides details about one specific wireless client. It combines much of the data displayed in other available reports and filters that data so it's specific to this single selected client. Like the other Ruckus Analytics reports, this report is broken up into tiles, so let's take a closer look at the various tiles available in this report. At the top left is a summary tile. It provides basic details about the client, including the IP address, MAC address, operating system, manufacturer, current status, and the access point it is or was last connected to. Beside that is the stats tile. It provides a brief summary of a few key stats, including the number of APs it's been connected to, the average traffic rate, and total traffic usage. It shows how much traffic was used on each radio, as well as the session information and the number of applications used. Next, we have the top applications by traffic tile. It displays which applications are consuming the most traffic in both the donut chart and graph format. Passing your mouse over the applications in the donut show the total throughput for each application. The graph shows throughput over time at specific intervals. There's a drop down that allows you to choose whether to display transmitted data only, received data only, or total user traffic data. The other drop down allows you to adjust the granularity of the graph. The squares allow selection or deselection of applications to display in the graph, and the square colors correspond to the colors on the donut chart. Going to the table view displays the same data in a table format. By default, it displays the top 10 applications by traffic, but this can be changed with a drop down. Additionally, you can use the gear icon to modify which columns are displayed and can increase the number of rows to display per page. Next, we have the traffic trend graphs. There are two different graphs within this tile. These graphs give the ability to deviate from the overall report time filter to define one only for these graphs, as well as the ability to change the duration of each plot point on the graphs. Here we have the traffic by usage and traffic by radio graphs. These graphs plot absolute throughput. In the traffic by use graph, you can select or deselect which lines to plot by clicking on the colored squares. The options are transmitted traffic, total traffic, and received traffic. On the traffic by radio graph, you can graph 5 GHz radios, 2.4 GHz radios, or all radios. As with the other graphs, when you pass your mouse over a plot point, an information box is displayed containing the details for the selected metrics at that specific time period. The Receive Signal Strength Indicator, or RSSI trend, and the Signal to Noise Ratio, or SNR trend graphs, provide details on each of these signal slash service quality elements. Each has the ability to modify the time span and granularity of the data displayed, as well as the ability to select or deselect what data points to graph. And as with all of these graphs, you can mouse over any plot point to display a box with details for those selected metrics. 
Next up is the session table. It provides details for sessions this client has established with your APs, including start and end times, duration, connected SSID and radio, as well as throughput during the session. You can change the number of sessions to display with the drop down and can use the gear icon to modify which columns are displayed and increase the number of rows to display per page. If you viewed the previous videos in this series, you may have noticed that many of these items displayed in this report look familiar. That's because this report is pretty much a grouping of several other reports, including the wireless network report, the AP report, the client report, the application report, and the airtime utilization report. What makes the report valuable is that it combines each of these reports and specifically tailors them for this individual wireless client. As with most reports in Ruckus Analytics, this report can be exported to a comma-separated value CSV file or to a PDF. Selecting the CSV option contains all the raw data that populates each of the tables, graphs, and data points combined in a single zip file. The PDF export output looks very similar to the screen we've been viewing with each of the current tiles, graphs, and tables displayed in the same graphical format. So this completes this presentation describing the Ruckus Analytics Client Details Report Dashboard. I hope you found this information useful and hope you return for more of the presentations in this Ruckus Analytics series. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.